Anyways, hey, how's it going, boys? What is up, Source Back? Once again, for yet another character impressions. This time we have Europa, Holiday, Christmas, whichever you want to call her. Yes. Alright, we are already the in December, man. Shit. But yeah, by the time you see this, it's already December. I'm technically viewing this in December too. But yeah, it's already December. It's almost the end of 2022. We have the very first set of uh, Christmas characters. We're going to see more soon. Yep. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we have some few stuff to mention. I'm probably going to put the, the shit that I mentioned in Fiorito in here as well. Also, before I continue again, I would like to remind everyone because everyone seems... Uh, there's quite a few has been mentioning this again because... Uh, not too long ago, I was uh, saying stuff about uh, what's that Earth Satter that she's good now. People are saying, "Oh, uh, I, I I always look back at uh, this Mister Streamer talking shit about her on her release." Like, you do know that I do not have the character right on release. I just want I just want to remind you guys that this is not a review. This is just first impression, look at her on paper, what do I think about it? Every time when I test the character, I will get different opinions about it. And plus, plus, you have to also remember the character functions and changes the, its functions very very differently when there's new content coming in. You also have to remember the main reason why I feel like Earth Setter was really really strong is because Nightmare 200 became a thing. Hmm. Yeah, so uh keep that in mind. So yes, let's continue. <laughs> so this people just keeps <laughs> keeps shitting on me just because I talk shit of a character on my first impressions. Okay. <laughs> so she has uh she has 1980 HP, she has 69, 100 attack, nice. She's earth now, she's balanced, she's staff, and yeah, okay. Bright Snowflake. Unruly earth damage to a foe, raise Glaciate level by 2. Oh, so she's the second character, I think, to have Glaciate in earth. Isn't there another Glaciate character on earth, if I recall correctly? <laughs> Max is 10, so it goes up by 2. Restores all allies' HP and remove one debuff. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, Galit, Galit Prison. Six hit earth damage to all foes. Okay, that's that's interesting. Cold cage effect hit to water attack and boost to blessed maiden's effect. Cooldown is 12 turns. Holy shit. So this goes down to 10. Blessed maiden effect is boosted. Can be removed. Five, lasts for 5 turns. Can attack. Whole cage. Cool. Okay. Tyrus Glacius. Glacius? Debuff immunity to all allies one time. Boost to... Boost to a frozen gift for you. Effect. What? Boost to a gift... What? A frozen gift for use. <laughs> for use effect. <laughs> so this is 10 turns too? Okay. Uh huh. That's all. This sounds so weird, man. Uh, epem epem das. Uh, yeah, whatever that's called. Earth damage to a foe raise glacier level by one max ten when a foe's glacier level is five or above. Lux lust lustrous mercury effect affects all allies. Okay. So that's a passive. Three turns. So, that thing only... Hmm, okay. That's only 3 turns. Okay, so her... Passive is Blessed Maiden. Amplify Earth, da Earth Allies damage against Water Foes. So she's a Seraphic character, cool. A Frozen Gift for you. 10% boost to all Allies charge bars at the end of turn. Oh. So it's boosting that. Lustrous... Mercury is no charge bar gain upon normal attacks. Amplify normal attack damage. Deal triple attacks. Buffs can be removed. Huh, that's actually really nice. Because that applies to everyone, right? Whenever she has 3. And that's 7 turns. I mean, 7. It costs, uh, lasts for... Uh, what's that? 
Cooldown is 7 turns, lasts for 3 turns, and then it's uh, Glaciate 5 and above only. Technically speaking though, technically speaking, you can still use somewhat the same shit. But instead of Gandalf, you slot her in. So, I feel like you could technically still Ogi every turn with her though. Wait, can you? Because she's not... Because mm. she's... I actually don't know. Maybe. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Because she only doesn't get charge bar gain on Ogi, right? <laughs> I mean, on autos, right? You technically still can run, like, uh... What's that? An Ogi setup with her? And you can literally get heal and clear every turn. So that's, that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, she is, like, technically buffing for, uh... The, uh... What's that? Normal, normal attack stuff, but... Yeah. If you don't get Ogi every turn, you can still get that. So it's pretty nice though. So Unworldly goes to 2.9 million. Restore HP is 2500. 2500 and clear. Very nice. The 6 hits is 295k per hit. That's not too bad. Because yeah, it's like... It's basically like uh, Summer summer Shiva, yeah, in, in a way. <laughs> Yeah, technically she is sh it's like Summer Shiva. I kind of like her skills more compared to Shiva though. The third skill is 800k. Base, dam base cap damage is 800k. Okay. And then... Uh, so by default... Okay, so by default this one is 20%. It goes to 30%. Cool. So then this one goes to... 20%. This one sounds kind of ass though. <laughs> in, in a way, it does sound kind of like ass, but... I mean, if you were to compare with the likes of uh, Summer Shiva as well, it's not really that different though. Summer Shiva's second skill is kind of whatever too. Because Summer Shiva is like... Heal, right? I think. Summer Shiva is heal or something, second, second skill. is Veil and Heal. So it's just boosting the heal. But then again, it's like... She gets heal and clear on Ogi, right? Yeah, I actually I actually prefer her shit more. Because Summer Shiva on third skill, he basically just gets CA reactivation on 10 turn onwards and uh instant charge. Wow, technically she can boost to everyone as well. And she's technically nuking too, so I feel like it's just so much better instead of CA reactivation crap, because you know. It takes too damn long. <laughs> yeah, she's unworldly as well. So technically, if you did get her, she can... I mean, if you think about it, she can kind of be like your OTK character as well, in a way. Because unworldly and shit. And she can be your seraphic weapon too, so... If you're running the uh, the whole Long Dong shit going, right? You can technically not use seraphic weapon. And you can use something else to just allow yourself to have consistent damage, for example. I don't know if you have if you still have problems with damage consistency. But yeah, it's not too bad. You can also kind of run her as an ODK character. But even so, even so, I actually like this a lot because it gives you a really, really nice option in like for longer raids, basically, you know, like non-burst type of setups, right? So full auto slash manual, whichever you're playing as, right? Because technically they're more or less the same anyway these days. I usually say it as full auto, but what are you, what usually that means is raids that last for quite some time, right? So she's really, really nice for that. Because, you know, you can... you make This looks really fucking nice though. <laughs> I do not know why, but this sounds really fucking nice. Wait, how much is it? 20%? Yes, yeah, 20%. And then you have guaranteed normal attack. Uh, what's that? Guaranteed triple. No, normal. Guaranteed normal. <laughs> yeah, no shit. She's guaranteed to have normal attack. <laughs> Imagine a character not having normal attack, right? And all she does is uh, Ogi. <laughs> I mean, technically, we do have those kind of characters too, right? But yeah. Um, Alright, so what, what else does she have? Yeah, she doesn't have very, like, uh, you know, special stacks or whatnot. I mean, Glaciate is... Well, Glaciate, right? It's the same shit. <laughs> but it does look like she can get... She can get the... Uh, 
the Glaciate to level 5 quite easily though. I like it. I even like her skill 1 more. I actually really like her skill 1 more in comparison to Samashiva. Because her skill 1, right? Her skill 1... You have to remember, they have the same cooldown as well too. It's literally identical to Samashiva, right? Both of them have the same cooldowns. Except for the last one, I guess. Because the last one for Shiva is 6 turns instead of 7. But like, this two is the same. They're both 10 turns, right? But I feel like... Europa is better because of... Cold Cage. <laughs> this one, I feel like it's just way better though. Because the can attack thing is almost similar as... Uh, as can act, but it's not as OP as can act. If you if if you get if you understand what I'm trying to say, because it's like, I feel like the chances of her hitting her cold cage, is probably almost guaranteed on the first one. Second time, almost probably you never see it again though. <laughs> but like, if you're in a in raid where you have uh, stuff being pushed onto the boss that has debuff resistance down or whatever. It's actually really good though. <laughs> yeah, this this first skill of first is actually really good because of the uh, cold cage stuff. Just making the boss not being able to attack is kind of like very very close to paralyzed too, I suppose in a way. But you know, <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad. But still, I wouldn't warrant that as a as a spark character anyway. I don't think it's even worth to spark for her. <laughs> No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's it's not like it's not like when Summer Shiva came out at that time and at that time Summer Shiva was like yeah, you know. <laughs> now he's kinda like eh <laughs> you know, it's not so it's not it's not so you know the the the, the, the shit anymore, you know. Alright, Saintly Fountain. Is that a chocolate fondue? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> It looks like a chocolate fondue. <laughs> yeah, then the thing is just frozen there. Nice. Okay. Uh, revitalize to all allies. Big tri Big triumph. Ah, shit. Multi medium, double attack, and critical rate. Wow. I totally need those multi attacks as Earth, man. Woo. <laughs> What an absolute shit of a weapon! Let's go! <laughs> Still no full limit break though, so yeah, it's pretty shit. <laughs> who- wait, I mean, who knows we might get like, uh... What's that? You know, whenever we multi-attack in full limit break, you know, when we get double, we get extra 10% echo or something, and then the triple, we get 30% echo. For example, if it's like full limit break or some shit, I don't know, maybe? <laughs> That, that that that's for us to uh to enjoy in 2025 or something. <laughs> but yeah, all in all she seems alright. Very, very similar as Summer Shiva, but I still think that she's probably a much much better character in comparison to him. But does Earth need a character like this? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Not so much, nah. <laughs> Okay, let's check her out her EMP. Wait, uh, watch out for Flashbang. Here comes Flashbang. Uh, Alright, so she has... Okay. Oh, that's... Hmm. I mean, that looks kind of decent, I guess. It's not shit. It's not great either. Looks very, very decent at best. So she has Stamina. You can get Stamina, Skill Cap, Earth Attack Up, Crit, CA Damage. That's already 5. And then the rest you can put into defense or HP. I'll probably put in on defense or something. There are some, I mean, there are like notable ones that is worth grabbing anyway. You don't really have to max this out, obviously, right? But I would if you're playing, do you play, play, blah, 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 playing, <laughs> if you're planning to use her for OTK. But a lot of times, even in full auto, I would still actually just level that anyway. Just to make her, her CA damage a lot more consistent in like, maybe for example, if you have like no 
uh, utility characters at all in your party. No one to buff your shit or whatever. So your damage is kind of like... You know, it's just like you, you're very reliant on the character's raw damage for the most part. So this kind of helps in those situations. So that's, that's, that's why. And plus, like, she doesn't really have, like, really good raw attack, isn't it? Because she's at 6,900. Nice. <laughs> so, even if you bump up her, her, her raw stats or whatnot with, uh... What's that? With, uh, rings, uh... Earrings, whatnot, uh... Awakening, all that shit, right? If you're not running her as attack awakening, you... Probably still do not have a lot of uh, stats anyway. She probably, if you have a really good roll on her ring, and then you get her awakening, the balance one, for example, she probably be just slightly over 10k or something, or maybe if just close to. Yeah, it's like probably 11 to 12 thousand or so, which is, I would say, it's con like that sounds rather low for someone that already is capped out on the. Uh, the balance awakening and getting like a really really like super high roll ring or for example right if say like for example your ring is like 2700 attack or some shit right you're you're just barely hitting over uh 10k with the awakening unless you swap it to attack awakening then yeah obviously it's gonna be relatively decent but i think for her you're probably better off not running attack awakening anyway I mean, because at the same time, it sounds kind of funny where she... Alright, I'm just going to disable this because it's really bright. She looks like a character where you can physically do damage with her because, you know, she has this, right? But her stats are not really the greatest. So, technically speaking, it wouldn't really sound too bad giving her attack uh, awakening too. Because, you know, with the whole... Uh, the brand new level 9 awakening stuff is, is like it adds quite a bit for like those particular uh, ones that you actually decided to go for instead of just sticking to pure balance one so it is kind of like a worthwhile choice to put on her as well because her stats are pretty shit right so it, in a way giving her some sort of uh consistent raw damage without relying any form of utility character can be really really helpful as well because you know she definitely looks like the character where you want to full auto or manual in a very long type of uh, more than 10 turns type of raids right so yeah that's probably what I what I feel like at the moment for her because I hmm do you? I don't think you're running her in burst, right? There's no fucking shot, right? <laughs> Doesn't look like you're gonna run her in burst ever. So yeah, that's that's totally out of the picture. <laughs> so you probably just stick with her, with uh, full auto. You could probably even run her in like uh, the 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 hard the hard run hard raids. Like you could even run with. Uh, Wait, actually, if you think about it, right? If she can consistently Ogi relatively well with Octo and Monica Valentine, right? She actually feels very, very nice in... Uh, she feels very... Probably quite nice even in Super Baha, actually. If you do not have some Sandal Fawn, for example. Because usually, there's the, the whole standard Kango setup, you run Sandal Fawn, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure that really changed yet, because that was like a while ago. Like, the, the very brain-dead Earth setup for uh, Super Baha is... Uh, you run Octo, ULB, uh, Valentine, Monica, and, and Sandalfon. Because, you know, Sandalfon just gives you... What, uh, what's that? Superior, t superior elemental attack to your team. So, you just do a lot of damage and shit. So, yeah, it's pretty good. But, if you do not have that, you can still do relatively well with this. But, at the same time, it's like... If you already have ULB Octo... <laughs> Not having Soundophone at that time is very, very sus. So, um... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. But, at the same time, it's like... Yeah, she's still okay. And So, end of the day, right? I, 
I feel like I dragged I dragged uh, Europa's shit too long already. But like end of the day, Europa is a really really nice character. Not only she does look rel relatively fashionable, she looks very pretty, and uh, she's definitely a usable character. It's just that in my opinion, I just don't really find her like a top of the line kind of character that Earth really can fully utilize kind of thing. Cause I just find the other characters is just way better, you know. She does give you an option to have some sort of like full auto capability thing to make yourself a little bit more on the safer side because you know whenever she ogies she does heal at a relatively nice uh, amount which is around 2500 if I recall correctly and then if you give her a healing ring as well she does able to heal a lot better so it's pretty good right and then she clears on ogi as well so it's also pretty uh, pretty nice so it's just like maybe in future like um say like a uh, guild war for example <laughs> the next nightmare 200 probably might be fun to, i mean or might be good to have her who knows but uh we only probably only gonna see that next end of next year or something so i don't know <laughs> we probably might have like a new summer character or grand character to go along for nightmare 200 or anyway so who cares but then again, who knows, we might get a brand new Nightmare 300 or some shit by next year. I don't know. I'm just pulling shit on my ass right now. Who who, who, who knows at this point? Who knows what, what side games is up to in this day and age? What is like the brand new cycle that they're going to give us or some shit? But yeah, that's honestly all I can say about this uh, wonderful looking character. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys find this helpful in any way, shape or form. I will see you guys. Maybe tomorrow if that's Korega. If not, then well, uh, God knows when will that be. <laughs> yeah, because I am not entirely sure if that's Korega tomorrow or not. <laughs> <clears throat> Where for the buffs can be removed. The reason why I never say anything about that, I emphasize too much about the buffs cannot be removed is because you have fucking Hokuto. <laughs> If you have Octo, you have permanent veil and dispel cancel. You do not need that. <laughs> so that's why. You need to know we get rolls from MacFest. Uh it's okay. You know what you can uh, roll on? You can roll on Nikkei, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, Nikkei, brother. Let's go. <laughs> then you get all the pilgrims, man. Let's go. <laughs> or, you know, you could... Uh, you could help a brother out and, uh, you know... Help me get a close, inch closer to a new PC or something. <laughs> Best game in the world, <laughs> then you get banned. <laughs> man, Happy is so salty, man. Feels bad, dude. <laughs> hey, to be fair, at least you didn't spend anything on it, right? Yet. Imagine if you sp you already just buy the uh, monthly card or whatever, and then they give you that, you get banned. So it's like you're missing six days of login or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they would they ban you because you're a Haran abuser? They know you're gonna abuse her even more because you have litter and Haran. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> oh shit, alright. Should I say anything about should I should use Spark? I don't feel like I really need to emphasize that much because I don't think it's a really a good idea to spark now. This this two characters is not worth sparking. It's like you only get them because that's that's pretty much about it. All right, true. Yeah, true. I guess I should give the warning, yeah, because today this this banner is the last time you see Tiger. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess we should say that, eh? Alright, hello again! 